proper implementation of a poorly enforced ruling from the European Court of Justice will either improve or drastically change your work life in Germany. In 2019, the European Court of Justice ECJ ruled that employers must fully record every hour worked by their employees, stating that all EU states must require their employers to set up a system for tracking the daily working hours of their employees. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Essen. I'm a researcher and on this channel, we discuss business and personal finance in Germany. Right now in Germany, companies are not legally obliged to document the exact working hours of their employees, but there are exceptions. For example, for certain professional groups or industries. According to the Minimum Wage Act, marginal part-time workers must record their working hours. Working hours are also being recorded in sectors such as construction and gastronomy in order to prevent undeclared work. In addition, the working hours of employees who work on Sundays and public holidays must also be recorded. Last month, the Federal Labor Court in Germany clarified that there is a general obligation to record working hours in all sectors, not just minimum wage workers. The judgment of the Federal Labor Court affects all employees in Germany, around 45 million employees. Many of them work in what is known as a trust-based working time model, in which employees can manage their working hours independently. There is no official check and balance. Most people follow a general guideline of working eight hours a day. That freedom for some could be over soon. How will the employees in Germany be affected by the new labor law? Well, the consequences of the decision are far reaching. For example, unpaid overtime. One of the main aims of the ruling is to allow overtime to be correctly determined by employers. As the ECJ states, it is impossible to do this without an accurate calculation of the total number of hours worked. In 2021, an average of 4.5 million employees worked more than the agreed amount of hours in their employment contract. This corresponded to 12% of the total employees in Germany, as reported by the Federal Statistical Office. Almost 22 worked unpaid overtime, and only 18% were paid for their overtime, while others used a working time account for their overtime work. So if you regularly work extra hours, you can hopefully look forward to some extra remuneration in your salary in the not too distant future. Cap daily working hours. If every hour worked is properly recorded, it will also make limits on daily working hours and minimum rest periods easier to enforce. Legally speaking, every employee in Germany is entitled to a break of at least 11 hours between work shifts and cannot work more than eight hours per day over a six months period. Therefore, if you are at home in the evening and answer some work emails or take a call, this will be documented as working hours. So if the legal rest period of 11 hours is properly observed, you would not be permitted to start working until way later in the next day. Institutions where maximum working hours are mostly ignored will also be looked into. One such industry is hospitals where a severe lack of doctors makes working way more than eight hours a day on a regular basis a necessity. How such industries will follow the law or will there be exceptions, we will only have to wait and see. Home office. Critics fear that flexible working with home office will be phased out. However, Anya Peel, member of the German Trade Union Confederation, considers that working time recording should not be equated with being in one place, for example, the office. How should working hours be recorded? There are no precise specifications to how working hours should be documented in the future. The current Working Hours Act does not specify any specific form of time recording, so it can be recorded by hand or electronically. Time sheets, Excel spreadsheets and time tracking apps are all possible. However, the judgment of the European Court of Justice stipulates that the system should be comprehensible and forgery proof. When will the new time tracking law come into effect? Many explicit guidelines will have to be established before any laws can come into effect. Germany's Labour Ministry is expected to publish a report in November which will look into the reasoning behind the Federal Labour Court's ruling. Although this is a great idea in theory, experts are unsure about the long-term effects of this law. 
Will the implementation of this ruling cause companies to hire more staff or will they be forced to fire existing staff? Only time will tell. As an employee, things might not be in your hands. But one thing that can help you in difficult times is legal insurance. So in this video, I share exactly why you need legal insurance in Germany. So thanks for watching. Bleib gesund and I'll see you in this video.